So it just makes me wonder, are all these celebrities just reincarnated alien beings? Oh, is that is that robot Biden? Well guys, we're back. TikTok conspiracy theories have got to be one of my favorite things to cover on this channel because they always leave me feeling better about myself than I did before I started recording. A little bit of a life hack. Now because of this, we've become quite familiar with the TikTok conspiracy community. Now the jury is still out on whether or not that's a good thing, but regardless, I've come to know some of the TikTok conspiracy leaders quite well over the years and none other more than the TikToker Alex Surfs T. A TikToker who in the past has called me out for being a cyber bully for saying stuff like believing you're telepathic and thinking that there are mantis people who live in the cosmos and decide everything for the universe is a bit silly. I know, I know, I should have a more open mind. But every now and then I find myself diving back down the TikTok conspiracy rabbit hole and I always wind up on Alex's page. And the other day I came across what might be the silliest, goofiest thing we've seen from Alex yet. And if you've seen my other videos on this woman, you know that's uh, quite a quite a statement. Following the Super Bowl, Alex released a series of videos stating that the commercials that aired during the Super Bowl prove that all celebrities are nothing but robots, AIs, and clones, and the elites are signaling that aliens are about to invade soon, and that Hollywood is about to crumble. So yeah, I'm sure the claims we see in this video will be nothing but scientific. Hopefully this video doesn't get sent to copyright hell since we're going to be talking about so many copyrighted commercials. But, ah, uh, YouTube's never had an issue with copyright stuff, right? Right? Ah, uh, we'll see. Let's begin. Please subscribe. It's almost as if this whole thing is scripted. Oh, wait. According to Joe Biden, it is just like we drew it up, chiefs. Oh, is that, is that robot Biden? All right, so on the topic of the NFL being scripted, I fully believe that it is because if it wasn't, I wouldn't have lost the 15 leg parlay I put on the Super Bowl. I know for a fact that Roger Goodell sent a sniper to blow up Dre Greenlaw's Achilles so I wouldn't hit my parlay. To think anything else would just be silly, but using this as proof, not really sure about that. I think this might just be an attempt by the president to be more personable, be a little humorous. I don't think it means that he's a Super Bowl fixing robot. Because it feels like the Super Bowl was really just disclosure for the fact that they are all robots and AIs and clones and that none of this is real. Introducing Beyonce. Uh. Seriously? Okay, so if you didn't see the Super Bowl, there was this Verizon commercial about Beyonce trying to break the internet. And the whole joke was that she couldn't do it no matter how insane the thing she did was because Verizon's internet is just too good. And this is part of that. It's honestly kind of scary that people see this kind of stuff and are not able to one, just understand the concept of the commercial and then two, realize that this was probably included because AI is such a hot topic right now, so it's relevant. But no, this definitely means that Beyonce is actually a robot. This is Maya. Oh, hi, Maya. You robots are sounding more human every day. Oh, I oh. am human. <laughs> it's like I'm talking to a human. At Discover, everyone can talk to a human representative. All right, prove it. Wait, are you a robot? Oh. How would I prove that I'm not? 24... We're living in the twilight zone. <laughs> yep, you've cracked the code there, Alex. Making a lighthearted, humorous commercial advertising the fact that you don't have to talk to a robo-assistant when you call in to discover means that every single celebrity and every global elite is actually a cyborg. You figured it out. I mean, like, my God, no, we're not living in the twilight zone. You are living an unhealthy life. This kind of thinking is not good for you. This has to be some sort of chronic form of paranoia. Annoya. Yes, let's talk about the clock. So I actually didn't watch the Super Bowl, but believe me. <laughs> okay, cool. Thanks for throwing any little bit of credibility you might have had straight out the window. Yeah, I didn't actually watch any of this, but people on TikTok told me that it means the global elite is crumbling and uh, I Spice is an android. So yeah, you could call me an expert. Everybody's hands were on deck sending me all the information. So Usher performed with a clock in the center, which eventually oh my god a hummingbird just flew right in front of me which eventually starts burning up in flames like this um so you guys saw the jennifer coolidge commercial where the clock is ticking in the background wait are you a robot 
And we also had Taylor Swift wearing a clock necklace at the Grammys. Guys, I want to give you a moment here, just a quick pause, to let you think about what this woman is going to say next. What these three appearances of clocks with very obvious explanations might mean. Just take a guess, okay? Anything. You're not going to get it. So what's up with all the clocks? Tick tock, time is up. Time has run up on Hollywood, the veil, everything has to be exposed, which is why there was so much disclosure at the Super Bowl. Alrighty, so let's break these down. Usher performing at the Super Bowl and having a clock in the background when he performs a song where the first lyric is it's seven o'clock on the dot. Taylor Swift wearing a necklace to the Grammys that has a clock on it that's set to midnight when one of her biggest albums ever is titled, you guessed it, Midnight's. And a commercial where they put a clock ticking in the background to amplify the awkwardness of the commercial since that's basically Jennifer Coolidge's entire stick having these kind of awkward and socially taboo interactions is proof that time is over for Hollywood and the global elite is trying to signal this to the general public. Yeah, got it. Alex, I've got a prediction of my own. I see a padded room in your future. This is insane. To jump to these kind of conclusions about every little thing you see in the media, I can't imagine living like this. On top of that, we've got this list showing that everything that happened in 2020 is happening again in 2024, proof again that we're just in a cycle we're in a loop but the time has run up the veil has lifted everything has been exposed and it's time everybody awakens and sees it for what it is so this little list right here is one of the main reasons i decided to make this video look i'm not trying to be that guy that's like taylor swift is ruining football because i don't really care honestly but i do think that the huge taylor swift stuff involving the nfl this year got a lot more people involved or at least watching sports this year which is good that's great sports are the best but i think it's also opened up some discourse for silly stuff like this because if you're a sports fan or really just a person who knows how you know competitions in general work this is the funniest list you'll ever read so just going down this list we've got the two teams that were in the super bowl in 2020 also being in the super bowl in 2024 you put a good team together in the modern nfl and they're going to be good for more than six months who would have thunk new england had a 20 year run where they were basically in every other super bowl where was this conspiracy then lamar jackson winning the mvp and and the Ravens winning the AFC North? Oh, who would have thunk that might happen again when Lamar Jackson had his best season of his career in 2023? And then a bunch of similarities between where teams placed in 2020 and then in 2024? Yeah, it takes a while to build a good sports team. It doesn't happen overnight, otherwise every sports team would be number one. This has only been the case forever. And then a bunch of examples of this team beats this team in this playoff. Yep, Alex, that is how conferences work. My favorite might be the one that says number one seed wins college football playoff. Alex, just you wait until you find out what being the number one seed indicates. The last one I'll mention is Ron Rivera getting fired by both the Panthers and the Commanders. Yeah, who would have thought that a football coach might keep on getting fired if he can't win football games? This is definitely proof we're in a time loop. I honestly think that this list right here is the worst piece of evidence that I have ever seen presented by a TikTok conspiracy theorist. Do you know how many years and how many different industries you could do this for? Billions upon billions upon billions of different things happen each and every day, much less every single year. It's not that hard to find a couple dozen random similarities between two different years. What I think would actually be a sign that the end times were coming was if we had a year where nothing that had happened before starts happening. We have a completely new year. Things are meant to repeat themselves. That's how it works. Yeah, let's talk about all the alien commercials that were at the Super Bowl. If you guys missed it. Uh, pardon me. Alex, uh, if we missed it, you just admitted moments ago that you missed it. What are you talking about? The entire Super Bowl was just full of disclosure, but specifically a lot of alien disclosure, AI slash robot disclosure. This commercial was talking about how frustrated the aliens were that we were not noticing that they were here because everybody was too busy looking down at their phones while the UFOs were just passing above them. So they literally had to alert them on their phones so that they would know they're there, which is interesting because about a year, year and a half ago, I had a dream where we got alerted on our phones about alien disclosure. I told my Instagram followers about it. They literally had to be like, hello down there. <laughs> like we're so oblivious. This is literally the aliens telling us they're here. Alex, look, this is really not a good look. Your entire page is not a good look. Don't get me wrong. But videos like this make you look stupid. The point of this commercial was that everybody's on their phones, ad 
advertising has changed, you need a website. I promise you that the aliens did not get in touch with the Squarespace marketing department and decided that the best way to tell everybody that aliens are real is through a Super Bowl commercial advertising web design. That's not what's happening here. Because we had Ice Spice over here doing the devil horns with the upside down cross and the priest outfit. Whoa, slow your roll there, Alex. Let's not talk about Ice Spice like that, all right? You don't want to see me get wicked. And I just think it's interesting how many celebrities were at the Super Bowl. It genuinely felt like all of these people were contractually obligated to be there. It just kept going. It was like the who's who of the rich and famous. It's giving very much performance. And on top of that, we had Justin Bieber in the stands with Usher performance. And we know that Bieber and Usher were both groomed by P. Diddy, but that's a whole other story. So it just makes me wonder, are all these celebrities just reincarnated alien beings? Okay, uh, I'm, I'm not even going to address the question on whether or not celebrities are reincarnated alien beings. I feel like people like this forget that at one point, these celebrities were not celebrities, at least most of them. Like, I myself know people in the NFL and in the NBA. I went to school with them. People all across the world went to school or were childhood friends with people who are now actors or athletes, rappers, singers, whatever. Do these people think they were just birthed out of a factory and thrown into stardom? Also, going back to the whole Taylor Swift bringing a new audience to sports thing, you are surprised that there were so many celebrities at the Super Bowl? Alrighty, I appreciate you confirming for me that you have literally never watched a single sporting event in your entire life. Do you know what a Super Bowl ticket costs? Unfortunately, in the modern day, that's who big end of the season sporting events are for. They're the only people who can afford Fordham. Well, guys, what do you think? Is Taylor Swift actually just a shape-shifting reincarnated alien? Is Travis Kelsey actually a cyborg from outer space? Is Roger Goodell gonna keep sabotaging all my parlays? These are answers only Alex has. I would say that I don't think any other TikTok conspiracy is gonna be able to top this, at least not for a while, but uh, at this point, I know better. I give it a week before the Brock Purdy reptilian arc begins. It was only a matter of time. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye.